Welcome to Everin Cole's English Springer Spaniel Family Channel. So today I thought I would do a quick video on burr removal. Ember here has a burr on her leg. And I've had a lot of clients come in to my grooming that I do a little bit here and there, my friends and family and things like that, and they cut these out. They're not that hard to get out. They are prickly and gross, and the dogs chew on it if you leave them in, but you can get them out and without cutting anything. Even me, I'm just picking here around the burr. See, and it's coming out, and there's the big burr, and you want to try to get as much as you can of that out in one piece. See there, I got a really big piece here out. So you want to remove that first as much as you can of the big burr. You're going to separate it if you have to divide the hair in half. We'll put that away so you don't eat it. And then you go in with your steel tooth comb. So I'm going to show you with that because I think I've got as much out as I can. It does stick to your fingers. There's one stuck to my finger, but it just pulls out. There, it's not in my finger anymore. You even get some on your clothes and stuff, but it's much nicer than having big chunks of hair removed from your dog. So I'm going to get my husband here to film for a second and I will show you me removing this burr on Ember's leg. So just a sec. So I'm just going to separate the area up into small bits. First, I'm going to use the wide part of the comb here. Ember's going to help, she says. I'm going to just slowly tug at it. If I can remove more with my fingers here, I can move another piece with my fingers. Do that. The little piece left here, I can remove it with my fingers and I'm going to separate it again. Good girl, sorry. See, there's still a big piece here. This isn't her worst bar. This is an easy one. But if you can pull them out with your fingers, you make a mess on your floor. And then you're going to comb it out. Sorry, Amber. It's hard doing it this way. See, and there. Didn't have to take any hair out. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have to cut hair out. There's still a few, but they're not sticking to her anymore. And look, she's burr free. Let's get it out of my comb here. There. No more burr in her leg here. Oh, I didn't have to remove, use the scissors or remove any hair. She gets a thicker burr. I'll do it again and show you a bit more of a big, she had a big one in her ear the other day. Now she's eating it. Hey, no eating burrs. Your tongue will get prickly. Okay, so here's another little one. This one, I pretty much, I think I can pull it out. There we go. See, I pulled it right out. There's still a few little bits in it. Oh, no, there's more hidden underneath. You got to check. You can feel the prickly. My son said, there is something prickly in her ear. And that was a burr. I didn't know what he was talking about. I thought she had dried food, but she had a big burr. You just have to brush it. You really need one of these steel combs. They're the best thing. Can't get this out with a brush. Could use a normal dog comb if you have one, but a brush isn't going to work. You need the comb. There seems to be a teeny piece just right here that's stuck. There we go. We've got two big burrs out. Ember's legs. There we go. Anyways, try not to cut your burrs out. It's easy enough to uh, comb them out and uh, give this method a try. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.